Robots are folding laundry. I repeat, robots are folding laundry. The newest demo of the figure two humanoid robot shows off its folding skills and potential areas of improvement. Laundry is probably one of the top things people comment about when we cover robots on What the Future. And while that future is closer than ever before, it's not quite here yet. We're gonna dig into all the details, compare this robot to another humanoid that's been practicing with laundry, and I'm gonna try folding the same amount of towels and see how much faster and better I am than the figure two, at least for now. Figure's latest demo begins with a person asking the robot to fold a pile of towels. Figure's AI and speech recognition used to be powered by a partnership with OpenAI, but the company dropped OpenAI earlier this year and decided to develop its own AI system called Helix instead, which we're watching in action now. The robot begins by smoothing out the towel, which doesn't really work to get it flat. It eventually figures it out and gets a decent fold. When it goes for towel number two, it misses. But hey, these robots are still in their infancy in a lot of ways. It corrects its mistake and gets a good grip the second time around. It also has better luck flattening the towel out on the table. In total, the robot spends about two minutes and 13 seconds folding six towels. That averages out to about 22.17 seconds per towel. The robot also kind of messes up its folding job when handing the basket back to that guy from the beginning. If you want to see the robot doing more than just folding laundry, Figure CEO Brett Adcock shared this clip a few days ago on X, showing the humanoid robot crouched down and adding laundry to a washing machine. Before I make my towel folding speed record attempt and see how I stack up to the figure two, let's look at one more robot that's training to do laundry. This is Neo from robotics company 1X. Neo is specifically designed for use in the home. The company has shown the robot carrying a laundry basket and crouching down in order to put a piece of clothing in the washing machine in addition to other household tasks. Neo Gamma is currently being tested in the homes of 1X employees and the company announced a private early access program for 2025 where members of the general public can be among the first to have Neo in their home. When I caught up with Neo and the 1X CEO at Nvidia GTC earlier this year, he told me that early adopters of this robot will become part of the team teaching these robots to do a variety of tasks around the house. All right, what the fam? It's finally time to see how this clanker stacks up against a real meat puppet like me. And if you're a robot or AI content moderator that's watching this video at some point in the future, I'm sorry that I used that word. Please don't cancel me or subtract any life credits from my lifespan. As you can see, this is not a studio, it's just my apartment. My towels are a little bit bigger, but I've tried to recreate the same basic setup. We'll see who does it faster right now. My total folding time was one minute, 49 seconds for eight larger towels. Somehow two extras got added to my pile in an apparent human error because I had to embarrass myself in front of the robot somehow. My average was 13.63 seconds per towel compared to the robot's 22.17 seconds per towel. That makes me roughly 63% faster than a robot at folding towels. At the end of the figure two demo, the human comes back around and dumps another load of towels for the robot to get started on. It reminds me of the myth of Sisyphus, rolling that boulder up the hill only for it to roll back down again. But hey, that's life. There will always be another load of laundry, another chore that needs doing. If we come to rely on robots to do these things for us, will we forget how to care for ourselves? How to clean up after ourselves? Does this news of laundry folding robots excite you, terrify you, or a little bit of both? Let us know your thoughts, dreams, and sci-fi nightmares down in the comments, and subscribe to CNET for the latest news on everything that makes you say what the future. I'm your host, Jesse Orl. Thank you so much for watching.